Hello, dear friends. This is your friend, Pastor Roy, speaking to you this evening about a tale of three men. The Bible speaks about three persons who uh, each of them were given a talent. You remember the Bible says one was given five talents another two, and another one. And it says the kingdom of heaven is like that. Uh, a, uh, a man traveling in a far country called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And it said he gave them to them according to their ability, to their several ability. Now, this is an amount of money, and in today's economy, that would probably be worth around uh, a talent, which is 33 kilograms, would be worth about uh, one and a quarter million dollars, at least according to the research I did. And so the question always remains this. God has given to each one of us a talent. Maybe not in the form of finances, but in some way. In the very DNA of every person, that's including you, dear friend, who might be listening to me now, God has put a whole list of things that he has, he has done, he has put within you. I'm talking about intelligence. I'm not talking about education. I'm talking about intelligence, creativity, imagination, speaking ability, potential ability to learn, physical abilities, various giftedness, gifts, talents, abilities. Wow! Uh, some trained uh, researchers have suggested that most people never use more than 10% of their potential. And uh, it's interesting that two children raised in the same home, one can become very successful according to the world standards, and the other not much so. I have three children, and... Um, uh, certainly, in terms of the kingdom of God, they are very differently fruitful. They were raised in the same home, had the same parents, had the same opportunities. And one clicked. It's God. And uh, that child brings me great joy to see uh, her following in her father's footsteps and hopefully go beyond where her father ever was personally and in ministry. My other two children both are packed full with great potential and I love them dearly. But for one reason or another, they've somehow been sucked into the world's way of money and finances and all those things that are so temporal, so ordinary, uh, so uh, common that everybody goes down that track. But one. And here we have three men. And uh, I wonder what talents God has put within you or within me. But we notice that they did very different things with the talents. Uh, the, the man with the, uh, uh, with the most talents 
he, uh, he uh, the five talents, he doubled it. He doubled it. And the guy with two, he also doubled it. But it's interesting, the one with the one talent, he gave as his excuse, I was afraid. And indeed, isn't that true that fear very often is the inhibitor of our real fruitfulness? And God has put something within you. And there was a time when I bought property in Romania, and was I afraid? Yes. Did I have fear? Yes. I was investing all the money that I had in a country 5,000 miles away from my home. But I sometimes say, yes, I had 49% I had worth of fear and 51% of faith. And so faith is not the absence of fear. Faith is a power that's greater than fear that will inspire us to take steps to go in the direction which God has called us. And so this tale of three men, let it be so of us that we bring forth much fruit in who we are and in what we do. God bless you. I'm your friend, Pastor Roy, and I'll be back. Goodbye.